of a swivel turn and it actually will develop eventually into a pirouette and yes we do do pirouettes in jazz they're a bit different to ballet pirouettes but we do do them so let's start we're going to turn to the side so you can see my preparation and we're working first on the preparation and then we're going to build it up so let's start by taking one foot back i bend both legs heel is off the floor at the back and it's on the floor at the front and then we join that foot back in other side back and join Back and join, and back and join. Now, a couple of things to be careful of. Don't make your step back too big. If you go back here, you are never going to be able to get up into a pirouette. If you make it too small, there's not enough space there to get you up in the pirouette. So, we want to have it about here. So, what is that? Two feet? Depends on the size of your legs, mine are pretty short. So, let's now add in. Um, the arms and I'm going to turn away from you so you can see them better. So I'm facing here, yeah, I'm going to take my right leg back and at the same time my right arm will go forward. And I've just got my palm down and it's shoulder height. So down, join. Down and join. Down and join. Down and join. Down and join. Now I actually do something with both arms and they're doing something different so that's why I gave you just one arm to start with. The next level is to add in the other arm going out to the side, again shoulder, height, palm down. So here goes, here, I've got my right leg back, my right arm forward and my left arm is out to the side. Come back in, change sides, come back in, change sides, come back in, change sides. And come back in. So this position, if you're interested in names, is called jazz third. This one is jazz second. We're about to learn jazz first. Now, you can do it with your fists or fingertips together, palms down, or facing you. I prefer fists and we want to make sure the elbows stay up, so make sure they're not doing this. And we're going to add in that arm coordination and as we come feet together, bring the hands in. And we're going to do this facing you so that you can see my hands. I'm going to start on my left leg, that will be your right leg if you're mirroring me. So I go back, join, change, join, change, join, change, join. Okay, now we're going to actually start doing it slightly differently. We're going to do four on each side before we change to the other side. So that way you can get a bit more used to which arm is going up. So we're going to start with your, your right leg going back, your right arm going forward. So four of them. We go one, two, again, and join, again, and join, and fourth one. Then we change feet. Le same arm back, same arm forward as leg back, other arm out to the side. And join. And back. And join. Two more. Join. Back. And join. Okay, so that's the preparation of the feet and the arms. The next level is to do quarter turns. So we're going to be turning towards the back leg. So from this position here, I'm going to be turning that way. I'm going to still be bringing this foot in. What I have to do is to lift the heel of the front foot so I can face the side. Then I take that same foot back and I'm going to turn towards that back foot to face the back of the room. Don't work your shoulder at me now. What you need to do now is just think about which leg and arm you're using. So it's the same one you just used. Back and turn towards the back leg. Now you should be facing the other wall. One more brings you back to the front. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to start facing away from you so I can use left and right and know that I'm giving you the right thing. So we're going to start with the right leg going back. So we've got right leg back, right arm forward, turn to your right. Right arm back, so right leg back, right arm forward, turn to your right. Right foot back, right arm forward, turn to your right. 
Right arm back, right arm forward, turn to your right. And now we go to the left. Left foot back, left arm forward, two. Same again, left forward, left back, and two. Left foot back, left arm forward, and turn. Left foot back, left arm forward, turn left, and finish. So you've now done quarter turns. The next thing to do is to do half turns. So it's just the same, except we're going a little bit further around with our turn. So again, I'm going to face the back, and we're going to start with our right foot back and our right arm forward, and we're going to turn to the right and end up facing the front. To the front. Well, you'll be facing probably your back, <laughs> but I'm facing the front. Then again, right arm forward, right leg back. Turn to your right to face, if you're facing the back of the room, you're going to face the front. And let's do the right again. Right leg back, right arm forward, turn to the right, face the other direction. Right arm back, right arm forward, turn to the right, and finish. Let's do the left. So I'm assuming you're facing the front, so I'm going to call my back front and my front back, because that's where you'll be facing. Try not to look around at me as you get to the back, it just makes it harder. So, left leg back, left arm forward, turn to your left, and face the back of the room. Left foot back, left arm forward, turn to the left, and come back to the front. And repeat, left foot back, left arm forward, turn to the back, Left foot back, left arm forward, turn to the left, to come back to the front. And relax. So once you've mastered the half turn, you can go for a full turn. There's a couple of things that can help you with that. So one of them is arms. And we do want to be a bit careful about this because as you get better at turning, using the arms too much will give you too much power. But if you're having trouble getting around, using the arms will really help. So what I'm going to do, so take my left foot back, my left, sorry, right foot back and right arm forward. And as I'm going to turn, I'm going to open my right arm out and I'm going to then turn into that arm. So from here, and I'm going to release the heel of the supporting foot and push off of the back foot. So we go, turn down. And when the heels come down, they're like brakes. That's how you stop the turn. We want to bring that foot into the other one as quickly as possible, and the same with the arms. And quick. And quick. Let's try the other side from here. And quick. And quick. Okay? So the smaller you are, in that vertical sense, the faster you can turn and the easier it is. So let's try both sides and do um, just one on each side to start with, before I tell you about the next thing you're going to do. So from here, I'm going to open that arm, I'm going to push off the back foot, lift the front foot and turn to the right, drawing my foot in quickly and my arms in quickly. Ready? And turn. Heels down to stop you. Other side. Left foot back, left arm forward, open the arm to the left, turn to the left, lift the heel. And turn. Okay? So you might have found yourself going too far or not quite enough, not quite sure, either could happen. One of the other things we want to think about when we're turning is to keep ourselves as vertical as possible. So if you lean forward or back or to the side, it's going to interrupt your turning and you'll probably fall in that direction. But the final thing I wanted to show you is what we call spotting. Spotting is the movement of the head and literally we are looking at a spot and trying to keep looking at it. Some people think it makes you less dizzy when you turn. I don't think that's true. What it does do is it helps you turn and it helps you know where the finishing spot is. So we're going to stop thinking about what we've been doing and just focus on the head. And we're going to do a little shuffle around. So I'm looking at, for me, I'm looking at the camera, you can look at me. I'm going to start shuffling around with my feet and I'm still looking at the camera. I'm then going to turn my head around. I can't quite see it yet, but I can let my body come with me. I can see the camera again and then I just bring my body around. So let's just try a few of them. Just coming around, when you can't keep your head there, you turn it, bring it back to the front. And you'll notice that, that by trying to bring your head back to the front, your body will follow. One more time around this way. Okay, you can do that as many times as you like. You can pause it and keep practicing. 
but we're going to go to the left now. So I'm shuffling around to my left, still looking at the camera, and look back around and come around. And shuffle. And look and shuffle back. So I do recommend practicing that. I know it's sometimes people feel silly doing it, but it is so crucial to do. It's worth putting some time in. Now, the speed is an issue as well. I want to do that quickly. So I actually want to go whip the head around. Quick as I can. Quickly look back. One more. Quickly look back. And then try the other side. But before we do, one more thing to think about. Remember how I said we want to stay vertical? So careful that you're not going like this. See how my head's tilted? If I whip that around in that position, I'm going to hurt myself. Also, I will probably fall over or my turn will topple. So focus on keeping that head very, very straight as you do this. And don't go too fast if you feel it's a bit dangerous for your neck. Okay, so we've learned all the things we need to do the swivel turn. It might take you a bit of time practicing each element. So you probably won't do this for the first time if you've never danced before, never done turns, and somebody out to master it. It might take some time and practice. But let's give it a go. So I'm facing away, you're facing me. I'm going to take my right leg back and right leg forward. I'm going to open that arm out and then bring these in as I bring my feet in and I'm going to spot. So how do I look first? Same side again. Okay. So pause the video and have a couple of goes. And then when you're done, come back and have another go with me. We're going to do two, to the right. Okay. And remember, heels come down to, to stop your turn. Um, and if you're spotting correctly, you'll end up facing the front because you'll be looking at the front. Let's try the left. I'll do a couple first. You can watch. So left foot back, left arm forward. I'm going to open my left arm out, bring my arms in. Here we go. All right, heels down. And over and around. And nice. So again, pause. Have a little play around with it. And now that you're done, come back and do it with me. Let's start. towards doing a jazz.